Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 27th to the 5th of March 2023. I hope you are enjoying the readings. <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, it is very cold here, even in the house it's cold. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit uh, snotty or because I've got a, a cold I think. Anyway, I hope you are well. Thank you for your support and your likes and shares. The family is growing, so keep it going. There's also now available podcasts on YouTube, uh, uh, music, Google Music, Amazon Music, Simplecast and Spotify. So I hope you join me on those channels. If you don't want to watch, you can listen. Also, I'm on TikTok. And we're growing there as well. So I'm going to go live sometime on TikTok. So if you're only a TikToker really, instead of a YouTuber, then I'll see you there. But this is the main channel um, as I put out everything first on YouTube and then onto the other channels. So anyway, you come in with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles means that somebody could be giving you a gift who's more fortunate than you. This can be money, this can be a helping hand, this can be a listening ear. Also, it could be vice versa. You might be more fortunate and you could be giving a person money or a gift or a helping hand or a listening ear. Also, what tells me that you're more than halfway is because we, you have a six that's more than halfway and you're definitely in balance also i'm going to put on the fairy fairy light here hold on <clears throat> there you are it looks more brighter now i've got the fairy lights on i kept the christmas lights up last year and so i'm having lights in the evening here it's quite nice and cozy oh it just feels as if i'm in, sitting across the table from you I know it sounds crazy, but I'm never alone. So I do natural on in the readings as if you're sitting across the table. That's how close I feel to my cyber angels. Anyway, you had the Six of Pentacles. Now you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely there is news coming in. This could be about a promotion. This could be about money. This could be about a long-term partnership or a relationship um, that is going into a long-term relationship perhaps about um, getting married and getting arrangements done perhaps you could be meeting or dealing with a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn perhaps you might be getting married in Taurus time that's at the end of April until the third week in May so there might be a May wedding who knows that's definitely uh, looks positive you might have enough money as you are, might be getting money, you might have applied for a loan, or you might have spoken to somebody in the family, and they say, right, you want to get married, I'll give you a deposit for the reception, or whatever, or for the house. So definitely, if you've applied for a loan, you'll be receiving news. This news is meant to be for something that's tangible, durable, and long-term. Also, you have the death card lying next to it. That means that the time and there is an ending. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning, of course. You're no longer the caterpillar. You are the butterfly. So reach for that sky and fly and feel free. Look at the sun rising again. Something definitely great and good and new is coming in. And from left right and center wow and you've got the king of pentacles here so everything you touch or you start will turn out uh, in gold or will turn out better than you even anticipated again the king of pentacles represents taurus mainly but don't forget capricorn or virgo he does his research because he wants 99.9 percent .9 guarantee that what he invests in, whether it is himself or whether it is his money or materially, he wants to get a return and that it will be tangible 
and durable and for a long, long time. You've also got the Two of Pentacles. You might be trying to balance um, between work and home or your heart, your mind, your solar plex and your body. So perhaps you are trying to also balance the money or the time at work and at home. Ah, you might be feeling wobbly as well. And this is, he's on stilts here, but he might be wobbling. You might be up in the air. If you're getting married, I know exactly how you feel. Because that happened to me. You're in, on cloud 11, not 9, and you are trying to, you're wobbling through, li literally, until the day arrives. Definitely, you're going through a tough time, but it's going to be giving you great results. For the um, feather, you've got the feather of the dove. Now, look at this. You're going from grey to a bit dark period, perhaps, and everything is turning out bright as white. Bright as white. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. Okay. So stop uh, fretting and get yourself back into balance and feel deeper than in other words listen to your intuition not only the bodily uh, feelings that you get but also the sensations like butterflies in your tummy when your loved one walks through the door or when a surprise comes in like somebody could be giving you a money yes i've got it yes I mean, seeing somebody going, yes, um, we've got it. There you go. Somebody is happy for you. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of, of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So be open to receive. Okay, so just remove those blocks. You can feel deeper and be at peace and be open to receive from the divine because something big is going to happen. You've got twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, com complemented each, complement each other. Like I said, something for long term and with tangibility, your soulmate. Two to me means partnering up. So definitely, this could be a romance, this could be in business, but this can also be just in a friendship that you might discover that one of your friends is loyal and you feel like two peas in a pod. A soul flame is the same as a soulmate. Twin flames, soulmate. Give the, and, and give the beast a name, so whatever. But complement each other, keep the communication going. And also, if you keep communication going, and you take it slow but steady, you get to know each other. And then you, you can bounce ideas of each other. Once you get to know each other, then it will develop in a long-lasting friendship or relationship. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. And I hope you open yourself up to your intuition and to receive all that is good. Have a beautiful week. Stay safe and be blessed. Take care, Libra.